Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for November 2020. This is for singles. If you're serious about attracting the right person into your life, this reading is for you. This is a general reading, so take from it what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. Be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus. If you don't know them, there's a link in the description box below to get a free birth chart. Remember, this reading is energetic, and energy is always in motion, so you may have already realized some things that are brought out, but you may not know how to proceed. You're in the right place. Whatever day you're watching this, it's the right time for you. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you and thank you for your support. And if you've donated to this channel in the past, thank you. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and click all notifications so that you stay up to date with all my latest readings. You don't want to miss out. And the snoring you hear in the background is my pug, Pasha. She's definitely a mama's girl. All right, let's go. Virgo, I've done your pre-shuffle already, laid the cards out, so let's just get started. I asked for guidance for you right now where you're at spiritually and uh, what you can do to enhance just your overall spiritual energy. So let's take a look. Ah, Virgo, look at that. Mirrored souls. Mirrored souls. Look at that. I don't know what's going on with my lighting, but you can see you might see some like movement around here like little twinkles and sparkles and uh there's some energy going on here for you virgo for sure if i can yeah okay so look at that mirrored souls which would be considered a twin flame or a twin soul so what a twin soul does so you may already have your twin flame or twin soul in this life as a friend this may be someone you already know, where you get along so well, you love, adore each other, you love spending time together, whether you're guys or girls, it doesn't matter. But every now and then, they'll do something, say something that just goes right through you and pisses you off, like infuriates you. That's because they've, they've touched a nerve because they're mirroring you, okay? So a mirrored soul really reflects back to you what's inside yourself. So the good, the good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, so this particular card, what this advice is for you is to take a look inside yourself. Take a look at your shadow side. Now, I, I may be doing readings on, on shadow work because shadow work is so important. Our shadow side is the side we don't show other people. It's um, our flaws or the things we don't like about ourselves, our bad habits, whether we procrastinate, whether we're a little bit judgmental, um, whether we have feelings of inferiority or uh, whatever it is. So it's time to work on these because if we don't work on them, if you don't work on them, Virgo, someone will come along and bring them out in you. And so when this happens, if you know someone and this, if you know someone that this happens with, remember a twin flame doesn't necessarily have to be romantic in this life because they're very rarely come together in the same lifetime. And if they do, they breeze in, breeze out, wreak havoc, destruction, because it's about growth, right? You have to break down to, to, to build up. Um, if, if this happens, which is wonderful, uh, when it's romantic, when it is that final life stream and you are together, it's wonderful. It's, there's nothing like it because the love is so intense and so deep on a spiritual energetic level. The physical comes in afterwards and it's supposed to be magnificent. I have not yet experienced this, so I'll let you know if it ever happens. But um, I, I know people who have found their twin flames and it's amazing. Um, so for you, if this person is in your life, you want to work on this shadow side before they bring it out in you or if they bring out any more in you simply because it hurts. And when it comes from them, it cuts even to the core. So this is your admonition now to work on that. Okay, the deep side, um, work on that darkness. Okay, so we'll come back to that, I'm sure, with the rest of the cards and the rest of what's going on. So regarding you currently and your, okay, look at that, look at that. Okay, so right now you are once again being admonished to shine, to illuminate, to light up the shadow side, to light up 
and shine on your um, this part about your how you feel about love is that you don't want to shine right now that's the last thing you want to do even though you you want that other person to come in it's like you want to take care of yourself you're in like a mode where because you're being asked to shine you're doing the opposite do you know what i mean so you like chill you're you're laid back maybe focusing on work uh focusing on bettering yourself but um you're not ready to shine yet for love and we're going to find out why what brought you to this what happened in your love life in the past okay so wow this just came up recently in another reading um so in the past you were in love you had you thought you were building something together and for whatever reason it didn't work and because we're focusing on your shadow side virgo perhaps it's because of your insecurities or you were concerned or maybe feeling that they didn't text you often enough or they didn't text you back fast enough or you know there could you 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 had some things to do with it uh, now I'm not talking about if you were in a narcissistic relationship or anything like that or you were with a control freak that's totally different but for to, to those of you who were in a relationship where it was like pretty average nobody was controlling but there were some insecurities maybe on both parts but for whatever reason in your past sorry about the truck outside in your past there was this and you had hoped to build on it and you see it even says love and love and they're trying to build together so this was a past relationship where you did have an established either an established home life or dating situation you know you spent the holidays together whatever it was it was there and now presently you're like yeah I don't want to be seen right now I just want to lay back and and chill but now you can lay back and chill and work on your inner self and work on what your part in this was what were your feelings go back and see what your feelings were during this relationship hold on I'm, I'm just gonna stop this for a minute until the trucks sorry about that Virgo I guess the truck was backing up whatever okay so again you just want to be in that so now's the time you can work on this this is your advice your spiritual advice to make things better to call that person into your life that you want that's going to be with you the rest of your life or or you know for as long as you want um, and let's see okay so look again look at that you're being told to shine which means you're not shining yet you, you look at the, the trend in these beautiful same colors right and the unicorn is magical but looking forward in the future you're still being told to shine you're still being told to let your light shine to be who you are work on yourself and be work on the shadow side so when you shine light on the shadows the shadows disappear don't they when you shine light sh look at that you can't make this up illumination shine when you're doing this and then look at the mirrored souls which is shadow work you're being told keep shining and as you do this work your light will shine your light will shine and reach out to that person that's looking for you okay so that's a beautiful thing Virgo just right there work on your shadow self now this card is would be the cross position in the Celtic cross okay so this is your overall view of love and what's going on um, still even more enhance a little bit more okay so now inspiration inspiration is also about having hope shedding light now this is a healing color and this is the cup of knowledge okay so you're being told um, and Hawthorne is also used for opening up enhancing mental capacity inspiration you're looking to receive f further inspiration knowledge your worth um, and guidance this inspiration you're being told right now presently you got to work on your brain power a little bit to uh, be able to process the inspiration and the feelings the uh, ideas that come into your brain that come into your mind so I would suggest for this cup of knowledge so that you know how to um, interpret it and use it to your best not just in your love life this is like an emerald green color actually I don't know what the deal is it looks black but it's not 
It's a beautiful, beautiful shade of emerald green. There you go. That's still not even the right color. I don't know. Um, so may I suggest that you do some things to enhance your brain power, rebuild some neural pathways and build some new ones, work on some puzzles, uh, word search puzzles, anything to use your brain. Read, pick up a book, stop at your local dollar store if you don't have any books in the house and start reading. Uh, if you have to read a magazine, don't read Dirt Rag. Don't read like one of those magazines from the checkout stand, but read something that interests you, whether it's a romance novel, whatever it is, it's an escape or it's an autobiography, whatever it is, healing, uh, meditation techniques, whatever it is, read. Use your mind and don't use your tablet. Use an actual paper book and start reading and opening up those neural pathways again because this is what you need. You're looking for inspiration and hope and guidance about making the proper choices for your next relationship and actually like you want to be done Virgo with this seeking out you don't want it to have you want to make sure you choose the right person and the right person comes into your life and you don't want to have to work at it anymore it's like you're tired you're overworked I feel like you work a lot whatever it is you're doing and you're intense Virgo you know you want to get this done right and uh, you just don't want to backtrack and do the work twice you just don't want to. My, my moon is Virgo. I get it. Like, I, I don't want to do work twice. I hate backtracking. So I'd rather do it once the right way, take a little bit extra time, and then I don't have to go back. And that's, so I get this, okay? So this is another admonition for you, Virgo. Uh, besides doing your shadow work, this enhancing your brain power will help you understand what you're processing in your shadow work. So that's Already, you've got a lot going on and a lot of work to do. You've got a lot of advice, okay? So when I prayed um, and shuffled, I asked what would happen if you just didn't do anything and you stayed on your current path. And this card has come up before as well, but it's energy. So Virgo, for you, you're intense, you're high powered, and I see this energy, the moon phase is right, and it's just all around you. It's your energy and it's just you working on healing. And it's just you doing your own thing. And I feel for you, Virgo, to help with, with your brain power, a suggestion, even though this is just not part of the suggestion, but I feel like you need to maybe do some decluttering or, and I'm not saying you're living in clutter. I know you're probably very ordered and orderly, but there may be like a, a plant that's dying or not doing so well. There's something that you're seeing out of the corner of your eye, Virgo, that is irritating you or that's bringing your energy down just a little bit. So whether it's something in your room, you want to straighten out your nightstand, maybe it's just a little bit messy or dis disorganized a little bit. It doesn't, you know, one thing could be out of place and that could be driving you nuts. For me, it's a picture that's just a tad crooked. I lose my mind with it because I see it. That's all I see when I go into a room. If I see a crooked picture, I lose my mind. So whatever it is, make sure that you, you take care of it, fix it, put it away, put it in its rightful place. And then you want to also declutter your mind, which is also working on your shadow self. But if you don't do anything and you just stay what you're doing now. Okay. This card, she's upside down because she's like the hanged man in the regular tarot deck. She's looking for, she, so in other words, if you don't do anything and you just stay in your mode, you don't work on your shadow self, and you don't do any of this, the, any of these suggestions, you're going to continue searching, and you're going to keep wondering why. You're going to keep wondering why, what happened in this, what did I do wrong, or and, and if you don't do the work, when, and you're going to keep wondering if there's anyone out there for you, if there's the right love for you, whatever. I mean, the opulence card is also a suggestion um, that you need to spend a little bit more money on yourself, but this in regarding love if you just don't do anything you're going to keep wondering you're going to keep searching when you're ready to search and get back out into it you're just not going to have the answers that you need so that's why you've been admonished to do your brain work you've been admonished to work on your shadow self so that you don't have to keep wondering you don't want you don't want to deal with this you don't want to keep wondering virgo i'm just going to shut that down <laughs> All right, so I've asked for inspiration for you and some guidance. Okay, look at this. Same thing, that beautiful emerald green, you've got patience. So this, I'm not even going to worry about the patience right now. This is a sea dragon who's in charge of emotions, who's, who really focuses on our emotions as mortals. 
So you've got some healing to do. You've got to work on your brain power. You've got to work on your intellect, your inspiration, and your knowledge. But you've also, same thing. Look, they're almost identical. Look at that, even right down to the red hair. But this is working on your emotions. So you have emotional healing to do as well. Virgo, you have some emotional healing, so maybe it's time to shed light on your emotions, on those deep emotions and hurts from the past, because you've got to work on this. This is all about healing. So healing emotions, your intellect, and if you work on healing your emotions, all this beautiful green healing, oxygen energy, love color, your outcome. <sighs> Virgo, <laughs> healing, healing. So right now, you're being told you need to heal. You need to work on this because look at all these wonderful herbs. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get that up closer. Look. Yeah, maybe I'm not holding the card close enough. But these are all wonderful healing herbs that have metaphysical properties for healing the body, mind, soul. And that's, that's this continued healing, this priestess of healing. So once you've worked on managing and you're healed and stronger and feeling better, you too, you will then attract your person. You will attract the right person for you. What I'm f being told is that, okay, so here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in autumn, right? We're in November, with the end of November, and we're going into the, sea, the, winter, the winter months coming up next month, right? So look at this. There's a, see the trend here, Virgo? Look at that. They're in a row, all about... Let me see if I can get that over there. No, like that. Okay. Look at that. They're identical almost. And then finally, the healing. So you have a lot of work to do regarding this. So, and the light on your, on your shadow self. So now is the time in the Northern Hemisphere when, you know, it gets darker earlier. And it's going to continue getting darker earlier a minute every day until the solstice, December 21st, right? So... We're going to lose that light, but as we lose that light, this is a time to prepare, to prepare to rest, to prepare to heal. Nature naturally does it, right? The animals hibernate, they start hibernating, they're storing up. It's like, it's like the end of the season, you close up your pool, you bring in your patio furniture because you're getting ready for the season and you do it early enough. So you're in this stage right now, Virgo, and go with nature. Take this time, take the next few months even, take these winter months and go with the healing part. Go with going in, working on your shadow self. Winter is a time of uh, uh, darker time, which is more quiet, introspective, reflective. Take that time to work on yourself and sleep with electric lights, with our work schedules. We go against our natural rhythms. We go against what the regular Earth is doing. We normally would follow. In the olden days before we had electric lights, we were going to bed early. We were getting more sleep and we were re rejuvenating ourselves and getting stronger and healing. We went through that because then in the summertime, we were up longer. We were working in the fields, bringing in our food, da-da-da-da-da. So right now, take this time and may I recommend... Um, as you do this healing, you've got to work on this card also, when she shows up, it's also about working on your physical health, getting a little bit more sleep, drinking a little bit more water, uh, you know, maybe 20 minutes of walking. And if you can't walk outside, I know COVID's got everybody crazy. Where And you may be on your feet all day where you work. You may be frontline, first response. You may be a nurse. You may be in the medical field. You may be working in a nursing home, whatever. Um, but you've got to take care of yourself. And I know you're on your feet all day, so if it's not getting the extra exercise in, because you probably don't need that, but work on that downtime then. Work on um, maybe at night even just running a bath when you get in the house, if you can, or a warm shower so that you relax your body. And as you're in the water, if you're in the shower, a warm shower, um, you know, light a lavender candle and make sure it's French lavender um, if you can, in the bathroom. And if you're in the tub, uh, run a warm bath, even 15-minute soak with Celtic sea salt. You want to use sea salt, not Epsom salt so much. And a few drops of essential French lavender oil. Um, you can use eucalyptus because that promotes healing as well. Um, but if you want to sleep and relax to get a better night's sleep, I would recommend the French lavender oil. Um, 
as pure as you can get. Um, so this is your time. So not to focus so much on drawing that person in right now is this this is your time for healing working on this so that in in your spring which doesn't doesn't necessarily mean springtime but your season of spring whenever that is your you've shed light on the things that you had in that relationship that that you contributed to whatever it was somehow and when i say contributed i'm not going to say it was all your fault um you know, certainly it could have been just your reaction to how this person was to certain things that triggered because it's a mirrored soul. Um, so that's what you're told to, to just work on that. Take this time right now. It's your season to rest, heal. And when you come out of it, whatever your springtime is, you're going to be in a much better position. Your frequency will be raised. You will not be this same person that you were in these past relationships or, th or who you are now. You're going to be better. You're going to, because every day you do something positive for yourself, you raise your vibration. As you raise your vibration, you raise the vibration of the whole earth. You raise your frequency. And that is more in tune with, with calling your other half because your other half, um, you want that perfect relationship, right? So you have to be better than you were in this relationship in your past. You want to be better because you don't want to repeat. You want to attract the perfect person for you. So you need to be the best you can be. And again, you don't have to be perfect. You, excuse me. You just need to be better so that you're better. You find each other, right? And you raising your frequency will help them raise their frequency and you'll each be sending out beacons to each other you'll shine when you're ready to you will shine and your light will reach that person somehow the unicorn is magical magic will happen magic will happen it will all come true so this is all you have to work on you just take care of yourself right now virgo and work on yourself okay all right i will see you for the next reading I have other things coming up, and I'll see you next month for the singles reading. Um, but I'm also going to work on uh, just December in a general reading, money, finances, whatever. So I will see you soon. Stay spiritual. Please leave a comment for me below, Virgo. Let me know how this resonates with you. If it doesn't, if this doesn't resonate with you, again, and even if it does, check your moon rising and where Venus was. These are also important because this is give this can give you. These other readings can give you more insights, more guidance on what you can do to enhance yourself, to release those blocks that are keeping you from finding the right person. Okay? All right. I will talk to you soon. Stay spiritual, Virgo.